welcome to me YouTube. I'm very excited for today's video so I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. So you will have noticed this is a theme deck review and the way I normally do my theme deck reviews in my series The Hunt for the Best Theme Deck, do check it out if you haven't already, um, is I normally review them on the online trading card game and then play a couple of games but the way I'm going to do this today is I'm going to open the theme deck, the physical one, and um, then I'm going to play maybe one or two games um, towards the end of the video so all the timings for everything is going to be in the description down below so if you want to see the gameplay go and see that if you want to see the review look down in the description see why you can skip to that because I am also going to be opening some unbroken bonds packs so this is going to be awesome okay so the reason I'm opening the physical copy of this is I'm sure I don't need to tell you, but it is the Mewtwo. So in case you didn't know, the way theme decks work is you get a Shattered Hollow promo in the front of it. And um, it's always gonna be one of the cards that's in the new set. So this is Unbroken Bonds. Um, so it's a Shattered Hollow version of the original um, regular rare that you can get in the set. Um, so this is the Battle Mind theme deck. We've got the types up here, so it's a Fire and Psychic. And then you also have the theme deck list here. I'm not going to go through it right now, so if you want to see what's in it, then pause the video, look at that. Um, I'm going to get straight into this and see what's in here. This is so nostalgic for me. I haven't opened any theme decks since the black and white era. I used to be obsessed with them. I used to collect them all. I still have Shattered Hollow cards from like Noble Victories. It's crazy. Okay, here we go. So here's how it comes and you get a playmat here. Uh, oh my god, it's huge and it has Mewtwo on it. Ah, what more could you want? This is so cool. Okay, I'm going to show this on this camera. Yeah, I can't really fit that there. So hopefully this is in this camera here, but... Um, here we have a Mewtwo part of the mat, and if you flip it over, your opponent's side is the Zoro part of the mat, because that's the other theme deck you can get, so in sets there's always two theme decks. Um, so this is the other one, and then on the back you have all the rules, and um, yeah, so the other theme deck is an electric type one, I'm not going to bother filling that up right now, um, and it is Lightning Loop featuring Zoro. Then you, Zara, 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 I get mixed up between that and Zoro. <laughs> and then you get the uh, damage counters, you can pop these out, so they're like cardboard ones. Um, got a GX counter as well. And then in here, what do we have here? Oh, okay. Uh, so my god, oh my god, so it has like hints and tips on how to use the um, deck. That's really cool. So we've got Welder in here, Incineroar, this is awesome. Um, and then there's the other one, so that's lightning loop there. That's really, really cool, so you didn't need to get that in there, so it's kind of like a little handy guide on how to make the most of the deck. Um, these are amazing as well, if you want to start getting into playing the TCG. Um, as you, I will put in the description my playlist. I think I've only done like two theme deck reviews before this. I do intend to do more, because I do love doing online gameplay. Um, I am hunting for the best theme deck at the moment. Okay, and then you also get a checklist for unbroken bonds. And then it says what's new in Unbroken Bonds. And finally, oh my god, look at this coin! Oh, that is that is by far one of the best coins I've got in a while, aside from the Detective Pikachu ones, of course. But that is such a cool coin, that's so awesome. Love it. And then, um, here we go, so we've got the code card and the promo. Um, so here is the Shatter Hollow promo card. Um, so that's part of the deck. Then you also get the deck box and obviously in here is the deck. So let's have a look at what we've got. So we've got a bunch of energies, so let's just get rid of them. And then, um, are they all in order? Oh, they're not in order. They used to be in order. What are you doing, Pokemon? Oh my word. Right, I'm gonna quickly get these in order so I can do a decent review. <laughs> Okay, here we go. So, um, it did use, they did used to come in order, like the order of the evolution lines, uh, back in the day. <laughs> so first of all, we have, I'm just going to put the deck here. So we've got two Mewtwo's, um, 
So you got the Shatter Hot Foil, hello, and then you also have the regular. This is very annoying in comparison to theme decks before, especially for collectors. Well, maybe not annoying for collectors, but I personally like to have a lot of the same card when there's different versions. I think it's really cool. Um, but normally, when there's um, the main card in the theme deck, it's a hollow in the regular set. So you have your regular hollow, you got the shattered theme deck hollow, and then you also get a non hollow in the theme deck. But for some reason, Mewtwo is non hollow in the regular set anyway. Um, so that's one less card than you would usually have in a theme deck. But that's besides the point. <laughs> so here we go, we got two Mewtwo's, and the ability here is Mind Report. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may put a spot card from your discard pile on top of your deck. Is it every turn? When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench, okay. Um, so obviously, unless there's some move that you can get Mewtwo um, back from the discard pile, you have maximum two um, attempts to play this card when you put it onto your bench. You can get a supporter from your discard pile, so a supporter that you've used, and put it into your deck, so that's really, really awesome. And it's on top, um, so you know that you're going to draw that card in your next turn. Then Psyshock, um, this text damage isn't affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. Okay. Um, so, I think essentially what that means is, say if they, if they have a Pokemon tool um, that... Um, I don't know, reduces damage, um, or something like that, then that isn't affected by this, um, so it does 70 damage regardless of what's on your opponent's active Pokemon. Just take a Psychic and a Colorless Energy, so you are going to want to build it up on your bench first, which means you're more than likely going to put it on your bench and use that Mind Report move, so that's really, really awesome. Of course, me too, it's awesome. Okay, and then, this is a bit random, really, um, but I guess it's because it has fire energy, um, needs fire energy for its attack, so we've got a Dragon-type Turtonator, explosive jet for three energies, uh, fire energies, discard any amount of fire energies from your Pokemon, this attack does 50 more damage for each card you discard in this way. So, you're gonna have three energies on this card at least anyway to be able to use this attack, um, so you need to discard at least one energy for it to do any damage. So obviously if you discard one energy, it's gonna do 50 damage, um, if you discard um, two, it's gonna do 100, and so on and so on. So with this card, you are gonna be discarding a lot of energy if you're gonna be using its moves. Um, so I would kind of use it as maybe a last resort, depending on the next Pokemon, we'll see. Um, we'll see how the trainers play into the Pokemon's moves as well. Um, but by itself, I wouldn't say this is great because obviously you don't want to get rid of all your fire types because, as you will see, the majority of cards in this deck are fire type cards. Um, uh, fire type Pokemon, sorry. Okay, next we have Meowth. Oh, what a cutie. So you always have a cute little stopgap um, in these theme decks. So we got Meowth for this one. For one colorless energy, draw two cards. If you do, this Pokemon is now asleep. Um, so you can essentially draw two cards, but then it's asleep. Um, but you do get to flip a coin every turn, I believe, um, to see if it will wake up. So, you know, I would say that that's worth it to um, for draw spot. Then you got Tail Wap 30, so it's just a standard basic Pokemon with 60 HP as well. And then we're on to the fire types. So, first of all, we have the Salandit evolution line. So, we've got three Salandits and two, there's a letter, and two Salazzles. So, Salandit, 70 HP, quite decent for a basic Pokemon. Uh, for one, fire energy is grass fire. Discard a grass energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. So, Obviously, with it being a fire type Pokemon, it already works really well against grass types. And then if your opponent has a grass type Pokemon, obviously going to have grass energies on there. And you get to discard one from there, whilst also doing 10 damage. So if you're playing against a grass deck, Salandit is awesome for that, and has a decent amount of HP. So, you know, a decent basic Pokemon. Next, we've got two Salazzles, um, 100 HP, ability is Roast Reveal, so once during your turn before your attack, you may discard a fire energy from your hand if you do draw three cards. So, draw support again, um, and it's three cards for one fire energy, which I would say is pretty decent. Then you've, well, then you've also got Turtonator that's doing um, 50 more damage for each fire type that you discard. So, there's a lot of discarding fire types in this deck. So, you know, you, I think you're going to have to play them fairly conservatively like you don't want to play too many get rid of your energies i think there is energy retrieval in this deck though which will obviously work really well with mewtwo um getting supporters out then you've got the draw spot then you can get your items back okay 
Then we've got Combustion, which is a fire and a colourless energy for 60 damage, which is relatively decent, to be fair, for two um, energies on a HP 100 Pokemon with Turtonator. You have to discard one energy to do 50 damage, so Salazzle is really awesome. Okay, then we have the Incineroar Evolution line. So we've got Litten, the standard base Pokemon with 60 HP, Katadir, same move as Meowth, so that is really cool, but it's only draw one card, whereas Meowth is draw two cards. Um, Big Bite, one fire energy, two colorless, for 60 damage, This def the defending Pokemon carry treat during your opponent's next turn. That is, that is crazy good for a basic Pokemon. Like, its damage is the same amount as its HP. That's really good for a basic Pokemon. Um, and then if you're putting three energies on it, so there's three Littons there, it means that you're ready for the almighty Incineroar if you've already got energies on there, but we'll get to that. So you've got Torakat, 80 HP, for one fire energy, you can use Fire Fang and your opponent's active Pokemon is now burned. And um, so that's 40 damage, technically, if you're burning the Pokemon. So that's pretty cool, but for some reason, not as good as Litten, but it is only one energy, so I guess that's why. Then Incineroar, so the ability is Strong Cheer. Your Pokemon's attacks do 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. You can't apply more than one Strong Cheer ability at a time. Um, okay, so does it... So, Essentially, this is every turn, so you can do 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. Um, Flamethrower, discard energy from this Pokemon, does 90 damage. I mean, that's another one that's discarding energy. I'm not liking this deck for the amount of energy that you have to discard for moves. Um, but it does do 90 damage, uh, 20, uh, sorry, 120 if you add on the strong cheer. Um, and if you use Litten's attack in the f uh, when it was a basic Pokemon, you'll already have three energies on there. So it means that you're going to have at least one energy that you're okay to get rid of anyway. So that is that is pretty okay but like i said i am a bit worried about the amount of fire energy that is needed to be discarded for the pokemon in this deck okay this is the last of the pokemon so we've got the darmanitan evolution line you've got three darumakas two darmanitan and the darumaka has 80 hp which again decent for a basic pokemon uh for one colorless flame charge does 10 damage, search your deck for a fire energy and attach it to this Pokemon, then shuffle your deck. So that's really cool because obviously you're already going to have um, a fire energy to be able to do flame charge anyway. Then you get to, um, when you've used flame charge and you get to guarantee that you're going to have two energies so you can use flop in the next turn or so that you can use Darmanitan's moves if you evolve. So 130 HP, really good. Um, find wildfire for one colorless. Search your deck for up to three fire energy cards, reveal them and put them into your hand. So Darumaka and Darmanitan are really, really good for finding the fire energy to be able to attach to your Pokemon. And then for Flare Blitz, another one that discards all the fire energy. So that's, what, three, four Pokemon now that are discarding fire energy. So discard all fire energy from this Pokemon. Does 110 damage there? But there is a heck of a lot of discarded energy in this deck. Okay, so now let's look at the trainers. Um, I'm just going to see. Is there any energy retrieval? Oh, I don't think there is. Okay, let, 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 let's just see what there is. So we got um, two, we got a few playables in here to be fair. So we got two Cynthia's. Everybody knows Cynthia. Everybody loves Cynthia. Shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw six cards. We got a How, standard draw spot, draw three cards. We got three, four of them, so that's good. Uh, Looker, draw three cards from the bottom of your deck, two of them. So there's a lot of draw support in here. There's, there's more here. Um, let's see. Okay, okay. So we got Lily here. Uh, draw cards until you have six in your hand. If it's your first turn, draw cards until you have eight cards in your hand. Um, so there's a lot of draw support. Got two switch. I do love a switch. So obviously if you don't have the retreat cost needed to get a Pokemon out so you can swap it. Really, really good. I do love a good switch. Welder works really well with the fire deck, obviously. Attach up to two fire energies from your hand to one of your Pokemon if you do draw three cards. So not only are you able to attach fire energy, you also have draw support with this card. So Welder's really good. And then Fisherman, desperately needed for this deck. So um, put four basic energy cards from your discard pile into your hand so i've got two fishermen here so that is max eight um energies that you can get from your discard pile 
Also remember, when you put Mewtwo from your hand onto your bench, you can take a supporter card from your discard pile. So if you use Fisherman, you can really get him back if you put in Mewtwo out. So I guess, like, I know I was just slighting the deck for the amount of energy that you have to discard, but I guess if, if everything works in your favour, you can use Mewtwo, um, you can use Fisherman, you can get the energies back, but you just need to remember that you might not be able to get Fisherman back out of the discard pile. One day, one time you might have to use him, but you've not got four energies in the discard pile so it's not guaranteed that you're going to be able to get eight basic energies back um but it is definitely obviously really good to have it in this deck but still need to think about the fact that we don't have the uh, that we might not have the energies needed um when we are discarding them okay so with that over i am going to be doing gameplay soon um check the description if that's what you're after times will be there but I do have, like I said, five unbroken bonds booster packs, and as always, I will be giving out the code card if it is a white code card. So I just, I just thought I'd make this opening a little bit better, um, you know, just actually open some cards, see what we can get. So I'm still on the hunt for Reverse Mew, Reverse Mewtwo, Snorlax, Reverse Pikachu, and a Reverse Snorlax, I think. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. So I'm very excited to play with this de that deck as well, actually. Especially now I know that, um, I think I just ruined that. But especially now that I know that um, we, got, we got the support if we need it for the energies. Okay, so we got a Mulane, Frogadier, Welder, Alolan Diglett, Slurper, Glitten, Sentru, Murkra, a Reverse Slurper Rare, and a Slazzle. So we got Wilder and Salazzle in there. It's like it's like we're getting the deck. We're getting extras for our deck. If only that's how it works. <laughs> okay. What have we got next? So if you guys haven't seen already, I did open up an Unbroken Bonds booster box. Barely got any of the cards I wanted, but it was very fun because it was my first booster box. So do check that out if you haven't already. Tangler, Oddish, Whooper, Cottony, a Reverse, Spritzy, and... <gasps> Finally! Oh my god, I can't believe this! Ah, oh, the reason I want this Snorlax is because of the cute little Pikachus in the background. That is awesome! That is so, so cool. Oh, finally. I'm gonna sleeve him up. Oh, what a cutie! I've wanted this since it was announced, like the Japanese version was announced. That is so awesome. So that's going into the Pikachu collection. Very excited about that. So now, all I need is the reverse version of all the cards I need, if that makes sense. So I need the reverse Snorlax, reverse Mewtwo, um, and reverse Pikachu and Mew. I, I just keep on forgetting what cards I need. Um, oh, well I remember, here's your code card, since that will have been white because it was hollow. There you go, have fun. Let me know what you get. Okay, here we go. So we have Water Energy, Hitmontop, Chatter, Mulane, Sundial, Oddish, Zubat, Coughing, a duo, a reverse metapod, and a quagsire. Okay, so we've got two packs left, but I got my hollow. I'm so excited. I, th I feel like, like, I d this is what I heard at the pre-release, to be fair, so I don't know if it still stands, but apparently Snorlax is quite difficult to uh, pull, so I'm very, very happy about that. And uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. So here we go, we've got Lightning, Martial Arts Dojo, Fairy Charm, Chip Chip Ice Axe, Mistreaver, Sklamiow, Growlithe, Ghastly, Togepi, a Reverse Aromatis Rare, and a Crocodile. Okay, so we've got one pack left. Can we get some last pack magic? I don't care because I got my Snorlax. <laughs> Although I won't be saying that if we do get some last pack magic, you know. Last pack magic is always welcome. Always welcome. Oh, imagine if we pulled the uh, Rainbow Rare. Charizard in this. And it wasn't even like the main focus of the video. So we've got Graveler, Hitmontop, Chattop, Esper, Squirtle, Rhyhorn, Rattata, Golden, a Reverse Tentacle, and nice! Oh my god, so we pulled a GX! So we got a Blastoise GX! That is so awesome! Oh my god, wow. I did not expect those few packs to be so good. And I've been slating Unbroken Bonds like, oh, it's so difficult to get good cards. But it makes it better because it means that it's rarer to get, so it's more fun. And then I had a really amazing boost box. And now I've just had some really amazing pulls from five loose packs. 
Wow. <laughs> While I remember, let me just give you the code. Well, this, this, you know, it makes me happy and confident to now go into the gameplay um, with the theme deck. Um, so yeah, let's go and see how that theme deck performs against other theme decks. Okay, here we go. The match is against Relentless Flame, so that's the team-up theme deck, so it's the Charizard theme deck. Um, I did actually review this, um, so it is the Fire-type deck that came with team-up, there was a Water-type deck with Blastoise that came out, that's not a good first hand, that could be worse. But the other thing, <laughs> I don't like having Pokemon that I need to build up straight away for my first active Pokemon. Um, I'll take it, I think. But yeah, um, when I was playing with the Relentless Flame theme deck, it, it's all right. Um, actually, it's it's pretty good, but most of the attacks sort of depend on like energy. I think Nido Queen is um, depends on like evolutions, so it's like it does ten times. I think it's ten times, uh, ten times how many evolution cards you have on your bench or something like that. Uh, Charizard does damage times the amount of energy you discard. Um, <laughs> So it can actually do a lot of damage. Um, so let, let's, just, let's just see how it goes. So I'm gonna use how. Uh, nice, okay, so land it on my bench, please. Um, might as well start building Turtonator up. Okay, um, yeah, so I mean, we could run into issues, because <laughs> um, even though there's loads of energy to discard with this deck, most of it, um, isn't actually to do with the amount of damage done. You just discard the energy and then that's sort of like pain for the attack, like with a set amount of damage. Um, whereas with Charizard and Nidoqueen and things, you can sort of change the amount of damage it's gonna do. Same with Turtonator, so I guess in this sense, Turtonator is actually a relatively decent Pokemon. And we've got Fisherman so we can get the energies back, right. So, gonna use Looker. Um, okay, cool, so. Uh, I will evolve Slant it my next turn, maybe. Just keep on building Turtonator up. Whew. Yeah, so um, I tend to like to start with Pokemon like these. So, like, um, little basic Pokemon. So Meowth, I think, it is, like, the far-fetched of this deck. Because um, I like to just have them chilling, taking all the damage while I build up the Pokemon on my bench. Um, but yeah, it's it's not a bad deck. Um, like I said, link to the playlist for my hunt for the best theme deck will be in the description below. So if you want to see like how I did with it and what I thought about it, um, then check that out. Okay, so um, right, I'll evolve Litten and Solanda. Might as well since I have them. Uh, and then how again? Uh, nice, okay, so we can attack this turn. And we have Incineroar, awesome! Okay. Uh, discard any amount of fire energy from this Pokemon. From any Pokemon. Uh, can I just discard one? I, I just want to get rid of one. Oh, should I have got rid of Farfetch'd? No, because then I can't attack in the next turn. Ah, so difficult. Okay, so what I could do with right now is... Welder? I think, yeah. Because you can attach two energy with Welder, I think. Something like that. Um... Oh, actually, no. If I, invol if, if I evolve Incineroar into Incineroar, 30 more damage. Yes. Okay, let's use how again. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's not much I can do. Uh, okay, Turtonator. Ah, no. Uh, hmm. Yeah. All this for the sake of 30 damage. I should have just got rid of him in the first turn. Oh well, <laughs> you live and learn. Although to be fair, if they don't manage to evolve any of their Pokemon, I could be in with a chance just like using one fire energy each time because now I've got this. Yeah, it does 80 damage each time. 
if I'm just discarding one energy, so that's good. So, she doesn't manage to discard many people. Me discard? Evolve many Pokemon, not people. <laughs> then it should be fine. Right, um, Meowth. Uh, yeah, I'll just have to keep on using Turtonair. I could really do with Welder, please. <laughs> uh, yeah, just the one. I'm, I'm hoping that she doesn't retreat because I kind of want to see how it would fare up against Charizard. But. Uh, yeah, I think with Incineroar, this deck is actually decent. And then Turtonator, you can change the amount of damage you're doing. Got Draw Support from Salazzle. Yeah, so for example, that Manitan, you have to discard all the fire energy and it just does 110 damage, can't really change it. Am I going to regret it? Yeah. Just as I say, <laughs> I want to see how it fares up against Charizard. I get knocked out. Ah. Well. That's what I wished for. Uh, yeah, Meowth. Let's just build up while Meowth takes the damage. Oh, now I get Welder. <laughs> uh, oh, I could do with how many? Yeah, I'll get a fisherman. Nice. So now we've got a load of energy to use with welder. So, um, oh, do I want to use Incineroar or Salazzle? I mean, Salazzle will do ninety damage. Oh no, I can't because I got I used Fisherman. Ah, I used Welder. Oh no. Okay. Um. Right. Put it on Incineroar, and then I use Welder on the next turn to put him on Salazzle. Oops. I can't, I, f I do that like I think I'm mistaken. Um, supporter cards for items sometimes, so I'm just like oh, I can get. Oh no, I already used the supporter. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, got Rapidash now as well. Rapidash is difficult because if you look at agility, flip a coin of heads prevent all effects of attacks including damage done to this Pokemon. If they get heads loads of times, it's not fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, might, I might have spoken too soon when I was like, oh, I should retreat. Careful what you wish for. Right, so use Roar and Resolve to put damage counters on. Wait, wait, wait. Oh no! I won't be able to do enough damage to get rid of Charizard. It's okay. I'll put, uh, wait. Yeah, so I'll put Salazzle out. Ah! Go! There we go. Salazzle doesn't want to go out. <laughs> uh, okay, Welder. Put two fire on Salazzle. Uh, oh, put down a mecha out. And then I'll put an energy on Incineroar as well. Okay. Yes. Okay. It's good. It's good. As long as Incineroar is like around, um, and I do have the evolution line as well to go back on, um, that's 30 more da damage. If I had two Incineroars in play, would that be 60 more damage? I need to try this. I'm intrigued. But the only thing is, if she's gonna knock out my Salazzle now, I should have. Ooh, nearly. Yes, okay. No heads. Yeah, I want. I want to try and have two Incineroar in play because I want to see what happens. Uh, hmm. Oh no, I put. I didn't mean to put Salazzle on my bench. Let uh, land it. Um. Okay, I'll use Welder to put two Fire Energy on Lit and ready. Um, 
evolve you. Yeah. Okay. We're ready. Combustion! Oh no, it wasn't increased enough. It's fine, it's fine. Um, what's this? Find wildfire. Okay. I'm just figuring out who to put up next because I know I'm probably going to get knocked out. Ah, she's getting ready for another Charizard. Um, Because I, I don't want my Incineroar to get knocked out because I want to test my theory. <laughs> Uh, is the theory worth um uh. hmm. Nah, you going, you going. Oh he's got one sixty. Should be fine. Fingers crossed. Oh no I can see. Oh no wait, I've got a switch. Oh no wait, I need a welder. <laughs> okay, how? See what you can give me. Nah. Uh, okay, evolve you. Evolve you. Uh, energy on you. Okay. Right, as long as I can make it through to the next turn. We can see if my theory's right. <laughs> I, d I assume it would be 60 more damage. Because it does say 30 more... Ah, uh, no. Of course. Read the small print. You can't apply more than one strong cheer ability at a time. Ah, so annoying. I thought I'd find a loophole then. Should have read it. <laughs> oh, well. Right, let's... Is that me dead? Ah! Ah, so close. Okay, it's fine, I'll put... I'll put Salazzle out. And... We'll put, we'll put Psychic Energy on. on the uh, put you on the bench. Evolve you. Now we got strong chair again, so that's good. Nice, this is a good game. I'm enjoying this. Mainly because I feel like I'm going to win. And I've probably just cheesed it. <laughs> okay. Because she's only got basics on a bench now. Interesting. I do like this deck. I could have done with uh, Mewtwo to get my welder back out at one point, but if it all works, if it would have worked like that, it would have been perfect. <laughs> so, you know what? It's not bad considering the amount of energy you're meant to be discarding, because when you've got Incineroar's ability, it's actually pretty decent. Right, I'm going to use Switch, get Incineroar out, knock out Rapidash. that's going to do 30 more damage with the ability. Uh, I'll, I'll put another energy on Incineroar as well since it gets rid of them. Nice! Very nice! Awesome stuff. Yeah, so... Fisherman does work well. Because if, if I did manage to get a Mewtwo out as well, could get the Fisherman back if I really did run out of energies, but it doesn't seem like it's that easy to run out of energies unless I've just been really lucky. <laughs> I think I might have spoken too soon. Right. Oh, I could do with an Incineroar right now, and then it'd be fine. With damn, it, I could I could do with Welder. No, we've both got one prize card. Oh my god, I did speak too soon. Ah, oh, 
no! Oh, don't make me regret this. Don't make me regret this. Okay, let's 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 use roast reveal. I I need I want I need Mewtwo so I can get Welder back or something. Oh man, we were doing so well. Nothing I can do. I'll put an energy on down on it, and but oh no. Oh man, this is crazy. It's because of Charizard's Roar and Resolve ability. So if you put two damage counters on, you can put two fire energy cards on. She just attached one. Oh man, that's it, that's me done. Oh, I, I hate it when people say stuff like that. Stop being so sarcastic. Well. That was crazy. I really thought I was in with a good chance of winning that. Oh man. Well, there you have it. There is the Battle Mind theme deck. That was a crazy good game. I was gonna say crazy good deck. I think it is a pretty good deck to be fair. Um, I think damage wise, I would say Turtonate is the best, I think. Because you can kind of choose how many energies you discard. So then you can also choose the amount of um, damage you're going to do. Oh, I'm in awe of that game. <laughs> um, I know I keep on saying it, but I will definitely be getting my Twitch back up and running soon. I've just finished uni. I'm going to be moving out of this house soon and everything. So it's all a bit... Poof. Um, but definitely at some point over summer I'm going to get my Twitch up and going again and I will be playing training her game online, probably will be playing with this deck again because that was really cool um, so stay tuned for that comment, like, subscribe um, check out the links in the description um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video